little C, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, little C. You know. <laughs> uh-uh, he pulled out a brush. He pulled out a brush. Why are you carrying a brush? And what is this? The swag. Oh, this is the phone. The phone wallet. The wallet phone. And this is also, you know, the swag brush. It's the two essentials, okay? You need that. When you, when you see the KOK, I'm going to have these things. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, Mr. Swag, yes. would you do bring that to the show? I try. I try. Yes, you do. Yes, try. you do. You're one of the favorite judges, and I see why. You're so down to earth. You always keep it real. Yes. We finally know who the winners are. Yes. What's your opinion on that? My opinion on who the winners are is the same opinion I had when I thought about who the winners could be based upon the top four candidates that were chosen to be the potential victors. Okay. Whenever I get to the top four, I'm like, okay, let me see. If this person wins, how am I going to feel? If this person wins, how am I going to feel? I factor in all the variables into that equation, right. and the product is my response. And each four times I did it, I ended up being extremely satisfied. And I had an abundance of joy just thinking about who could possibly win, yeah. you know, from the female gender as well as the male gender. Right. And I was like, wow, this is a win-win okay. for dance and for the show, Okay. period. And for all the contestants that are sitting there, you know, in the top four slots, it's a win for them as well because to make it to that point in the show is such a feat that yeah. people will never be able to wrap their minds around, yeah. like for real. So let me break that down for you. He was basically happy with all four. <laughs> when Translation it, underneath. Translation. Bang. I I can't even take you seriously. This is hilarious. Know. I've known you way too long. <laughs> this, you know, this, this is what can you say? <laughs> this is where we at. And this is what we do. Yeah, so what's going on with you? What have you been up to? I have definitely been a busy little buckster. I just finished choreographing a show. Um, USC, University of Southern California, um, put together uh, for the very first time they commissioned a work to be produced manufactured and debuted on their campus at the Boulevard Auditorium okay. and it was a show that they approached us to do and purely solely based around underground dance and styles indigenous to the urban culture okay. and it was a two-hour show yeah. featuring about 13 vignettes okay. and you know choreographed by myself conceptualized by Miss Prissy nice. and we called it the underground from the streets to the stage yes. we focused on crump we focused on um, mutation animation and flexing we also focused on Chicago footworking okay. uh, we had like you know live instruments percussion drummers it was just it was just a, a, a night of street dance excellence but enveloped in a form that you've never really seen it before because we organized the chaos and we put it in this box and gave it a margin for people to appreciate seeing it and receiving it in a different light mm -hmm. so it was it was really great so you know just did that 1300 seats sold out had to turn people away so now we're in talks uh, we're doing it at the Ford Amphitheater in two weeks and then we're going to be opening up a possible residency at the Nate Holden Center mm -hmm. and working on music about to release the EP in a month okay. uh, got my single on iTunes it's called Function okay. uh, got the music video as well why am I not in the music video well you, you was busy you was in another music video because when I was on set I was looking I was on you know I'm not Instagram, buying it. and I was on Twitter and I was like oh yeah you on set and you right. was taking flicks right. and I was like oh so that's why she didn't hit me back she was busy with the with the next artist <laughs> with the bigger artist I see okay I understand so I shady I shady I'm not good. buying it I'm not I just and I was like, yo, and, oh, never mind. I know where you at. Have a good shoot. Right. But I don't know if it really went through because I had the exclamation mark right, right there. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm not buying it. But I'm, I'm so happy for you. Congratulations on everything. Appreciate One more question because I know you have to go. There are a lot of hip-hop dancers who are inspired by you. You've gone on to do some incredible things. And you've inspired people to not just want to do choreography but to judge. Yes. yes. So incredible to see an African American choreographer and dancer on a panel. Yes. That comes from a hip hop background. How did you make that happen, and how can other people follow your footsteps? I think um, it had nothing to do with me making it happen. I think it was predestined for me to be not only blessed with the ability but blessed with the awareness to know that I had the capability of 
bringing something to the dynamic, to the adjudicating dynamic. Not just, you know, from a street dance aspect, but just being able to actually not only create a dance style, but be able to articulate the style to people who know nothing about it, and then being able to break down other styles that people don't even understand that I'm well versed in because of, you know, my, my, my how my artistic rhetoric you know what i'm saying so i speak from a point of performance and 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 dancing from the soul and your the, in, the extraction of your internal being so with that being said that is how i was able to parlay a position and you know really get people to you know respect what a street dancer has to offer because we're coming from somewhere that can't be re-emulated and taught within a studio you know it's just it's impossible and it's it's what we have is uncanny you look at somebody like cyrus of course you look at somebody from the past like russell of course you know and we are now being respected just like the 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 well-trained studio dancer you know and now we're getting that opportunity to mix and match energies with those dancers and become even better and those studio dancers are learning from us and we're learning from them as well so it's a reverse motivation so i would say to everybody who is you know aspiring to be in that position you know never 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 stop feeding your mind never stop growing and never stop pursuing progression Okay. Never stop pursuing progression. Yes, okay. Yep. Thank you so much. Pleasure, lovely. Spoken word by Little C. <laughs>